morning. I'm Bill, Trinitywood Game Calls. And I want to introduce to you today uh, our newest call uh, coming out from uh, Trinitywood Game Calls this spring uh, called Squawking Mama. Uh, most of you see this call, you think, man, I've seen a lot of these. These are just a standard push-button plunger. Uh, but I've made it a little differently than most of them are made. Uh, this style of call has been out for years and years and years, and both the long-term turkey hunters and people just new to the sport uh, can use this call. Uh, turkey hunting is a game about making the rhythmic calls the turkeys do and, uh, and having a number of different call types with you uh, so that you can uh, try to figure out what the birds want to hear today. Uh, from diaphragm calls to uh, box calls to the striker calls to slate calls, uh, other different kinds of scraper and striker calls. All those are out there and, uh, and I take numbers of them with me all the time. And, and even though I make calls, you know, it, you, sometimes you just got to try everything you can. So this year I made this new one, I call Squawking Mama again, uh, but I made it a little different. Uh, most of the calls out there today are using untreated woods. They don't have treated woods on the side. Uh, they don't have a treated paddle. Uh, they just make it raw cut wood. And one of the difficulties with these calls is, is that because of the bass uh, being a sound board bass, uh, guitar wood, bass wood, uh, any of the woods that are real resilient and sound, uh, sound well uh, can't get wet, nor can the sound push, uh, post that's underneath each one of these paddles. Uh, but I take the time to treat the wood. Uh, before I put it together, we use a heart of cherry here. Um, and I treat that before we do it so that there's a finish on the paddle itself and a finish on the sides. As you can see, it kind of shine just a little bit. Um, it allows you to put this down on kind of wet surfaces. The second thing is, is that I wanted the spring good enough um, that most of the calls, when you turn them upside down and you try to strike the call, you don't get a lot of sound because the paddle can't be held up against the post tight enough. And so I resolved that by uh, learning how to make springs and I make my own springs so that I can make the sound. Uh, with the call held upside down. <clears throat> now sometimes when you get these calls, regardless if you get the plastic versions or uh, whatever version you get of these push button plungers, the, the design of the call is such that a, a post sticking up in the middle is scraped by other woods. Uh, some of them plastics, uh, some of them with sandpaper underneath them. Uh, but when you get the really, the really good quality wood calls, it's wood striking wood. And sometimes you get a bit of a screech to that call when it first starts. And what you want to teach yourself to do is Start out real light, let that thing uh, kind of make that nice little purr. And sometimes you get that scrape is just push past it and get the call to settle in and you'll get past that little scrape and get to these little cluck sounds that you're hearing. So I made the calls and, uh, and I don't make these all so that they sound the same. I mean a lot of the uh, machine manufactured and a lot of the other manufacturers and I have many many of their calls uh, just to listen to them. Uh, many of those that basic every call sounds the same and there's no two turkeys that sound the same. So when you're trying to sound like a hen and you're doing a fly down cackle and you're trying to get those uh, toms to come in early in the morning Another hen is another hen, and hens show up all the time as they're migrant and moving up and down the river bottoms and out on the sand hills, <clears throat> and they're moving around. So these all calls uh, sound differently, and I don't make them all. I don't want them to sound the same, and I don't make them that way. Um, the three calls I have sitting here all have the wire rat tails up because I'm not done with these yet. They'll get packaged today. Uh, this one, uh, the one I've been demoing, is, is a kind of a mid-range. This particular one happens to be a little deeper, a little raspier, and you know, you think of diaphragm calls, you can buy them in the triples, the doubles, the double cuts, the double hung ups, the, uh, the reverse calls, all those because they want the raspier, the more mature hen, and this one just came out a little more raspy and a little deeper and a little, it's got a little bite to it when you uh, press this one. It's got a great purr, an absolutely great purr. A nice little pop putt, you know, you've been sitting in a blind very long hunting turkeys, you're sitting on the edge of the shotgun ready to go, and you, and you hear that little put, 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 put out there, you hear And along comes a hen putting along right in front of you, and you're thinking, nah, get out of here, I want the toms to come in. But you can make that call. 
and it's kind of a flock call, and you can sound just like a, you know, a putt, which is what this is, and it's not an alarm putt, just a standard little uh, flock putt. You just, and you can also make it this way. So you can have, this is a little deeper sound to it, and then this particular one I picked off the rack um, has a little bit more sound like what you find in the, um, the plastic calls and most generally the calls that are out there. It's a little higher pitch. Higher pitches tend to travel well. They carry well in like kind of damp mornings when you're out there, a good spring morning. Uh, it'll kind of penetrate and it'll carry a little bit farther. So um, some of them, uh, some of these deeper calls I like to use in really close, though they'll carry plenty well. Uh, but these, the ones that most everybody does, they like to have that more shrill high pitch to them so that they carry well in the heavy cover. Um, I love these little calls. Um, very simple to use. Nice purr. All of them work upside down. Put them outside your blind to use them. Put them down behind you. Anyway, this is Squawking Mama. It's out there, uh, out today now. Uh, the dealers have them. Um, I have dealers in South Dakota that have them, New Mexico, Eastern, Western Colorado. Um, the, the Archery Pro Shop I spend a lot of time in, in Longmont, Colorado, Archery in the Wild, uh, they have their demo up on the glass. It's always fun to be out there shooting uh, and hear guys come in and grab the calls and they're sitting over there. You know, and, it, and unfortunately, we still have 24 days and seven hours to wait till turkey season starts. And some of you that get to start in a few days down south in the southeastern United States, I'm jealous. Anyway, these are available to you now. Uh, they're out on the uh, internet, uh, uh, trinitywoodandgame.com. That's all one word, Trinity Wood and Game. Uh, uh, we're out there with these available. Uh, they come as simply packaged. They're not going to be packaged in a fancy clamshell. They're not going to be packaged with all kinds of rigmarole. What you get is a little instruction sheet in there, uh, and you get the call itself wrapped in a, a plastic Ziploc bag that you can carry it to and from if you want to. Um, but they come uh, simply packaged. So again, this is uh, Bill, Trinity Wood Game Calls, trinitywoodandgame.com, introducing you to Squawking Mama, the latest push-button yelper uh, offered by Trinity Wood Game Calls. Thanks.